Welcome everyone to Let's Connect. While the governments across the world are fighting this catastrophic situation where they do, are doing their best and worst to handle this, let's see how people across the world are handling this. We have so many amazing incidents from across the world about how people handle such a lockdown. Most parts of the world are in a lockdown right now. Some people choose to stay at home just to be safe and not to contribute their part in spreading the coronavirus. Um, today we have with us the President Sales for Sarah Sanitary Wear India Limited, Abby Rodericks, joining us from India, Ahmedabad. Hi, Abby. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How about you? I'm good too. I'm doing great. In fact, uh, the lockdown's not uh, been a, much of a problem. We're trying to be as positive as possible, even amidst the situation where we understand that uh, it is a hard time for most of us, but we try and keep our spirits high. Um, the one reason we wanted to connect with you today is the amazing spirit that you've been showing during this time. Um, I've been watching you and your profile on social media and every day you come up with an update. Uh, and it is a, a beautiful revelation of how lovely you know, time at home can be and how amazingly it can be utilized. Tell me more about it. Yeah, it's it's all about and it started with uh, the first the Prime Minister of India had announced the Jadatha curfew. So that day evening, uh, you know, I thought because my uh, family, you know, most of us are musicians. My younger son is a drummer and my uh, elder son is a guitarist and my brother's son is here. He's also a singer and guitarist. So I told them, let's come, let's gather and use our talent. Let's put something on social media. So that's the first day that we did a song and just put it in the social media and we got amazing response for that. You know, that kept us going. Then a couple of days after that, Prime Minister again announced that 21 days lockdown. So then I committed to the people that, you know, I will give one song each every day to them. And it's continuing, it's challenging, but we are able to do it. It's bringing such positivity, you know, as you keep uh, sending us these songs. Most of your songs are um, gospels or song in praise of Lord. Um, is there any specific reason as to why you choose only this and not any film numbers when the rest of the world is after film songs? Basically, you know, this is what I was touched uh, many, many years back that, you know, I started listening to the gospel music and positive music. I was a hardcore music lover during my days. You know, uh, suddenly the touch, you know, I shifted my focus to this and I thought that, you know, I should be focusing on this bringing revelation of God to people because today, if you see, I meet a lot of people around the world. Many right. of them have trouble but it's about giving solution and we as human beings have a limited access of giving solutions but it is about you know god who is omnipresent everywhere omnipotent you know give it and let him do his job and we become an instrument for him that's all that's what i thought uh, it's amazing how you you know work with uh, your sons to do this and uh, what uh, interests me is are they are they in their teens uh, at least they look like they're in their teens yeah yeah the eldest one is doing the final year engineering and the youngest one is doing <laughs> 12th uh, he's in 12th and uh, my brother's son is doing the second year engineering and even my daughter i'm missing her uh, she's a very good singer but she's now in sydney she's doing a bachelor's there first year Ah, so, she's there uh, at, uh, in Down Under, where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's doing it in UNSW there. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if she was there, we would have added more spice. But anyway, she's also enjoying listening to our songs from here. Oh, such a beautiful thing. In fact, hats off to you, Abby. I haven't really seen um, uh, people, especially families with teenage uh, children, work so much in unison. 
most of the parents come up with complaints that you know it is so hard to you know keep the teenage uh, children with them you know they usually see, you know the usual scenario at any home that we see is that everyone's fixed onto their gadget and they seldom find time to spend with their family members but um, on the other hand on the contrary you are showing us such a wonderful picture of how you know a family of uh, young teenagers and a dad can sit together and work so beautifully on creating something so exclusive and exquisite. Uh, how has this been possible? How do you think, how, do, how are you working it out? In today's, uh, you know, children, we cannot impose anything on them. Absolutely. So imposing is not possible on your own, uh, you know, what do you say, uh, your own friends or relatives. But, you know, you can always motivate them by being an example for them. You know, so first I show myself as an example and then what I do is, you know, uh, I give them positive messages how, you know, this, you know, fruitful for others and they are seeing that in my life also. And now this call from you that, you know, to have this uh, live interview, it has motivated them a lot, actually. They felt that, you know, they are doing something for the world. So Indeed I think they that are, we yes. help them. <laughs> Yeah. And I think when they start living on their own, when they have a family, I think they will be able to take the spirit to the next generation. And hopefully I'm praying that I'm praying for that, that God bless them. Indeed, yeah. you know, the message that you're putting across on social media does not just include the beautiful music that you're sharing with the world. It also sh shares the very big essence of what family relations are all about and how, you know, a family can still be, you know, together, you know, even while their children move into teens. Most parents find it an excuse to say that, you know, uh, their children are in their teens, you can't force them. And that is why, you know, uh, there is no more unity in the family. But you have such such a pure beautiful example and you know god bless your family we, we totally love watching you know your family videos um thank you so much talking about and your daughter who's i want to tell you sorry what yeah. was that yeah my the cameraman is my wife actually <laughs> so, the, my, so you my have wife someone is behind the scene as well there. supporting you <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> that is so beautiful so it's like a, it's like an entire home teamwork True, true, true. This is awesome. She this is just so has, beautiful. Does she sing? She has been a lot of things. No, she does not sing. So that's why she always supports us in, in prayer and, uh, you know, in the camera work. And she gives her uh, thought process also when we are singing. You know, we are not singing it clear here or there. So then we correct ourselves. You know, it's a challenge because each uh, music that we put, we have to practice a lot. So right. Someone also She's perhaps your biggest critic. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she can. Always wives can do it freely, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of value to it. And I assure you that, you know, this is such a beautiful way that, you know, you're, you're showing to the world that as a family unit, how you can stay together and be very peaceful at home, uh, practicing something that true, you love true. so much. True, true, true. <laughs> About your daughter in Sydney, um, how is it that she is facing all this? You know, we, we have had so many concerns where they've been asking international students to go back. There are rumors that they'll have to go back to their own countries uh, in amidst all the situation. How are you trying to keep her calm and help her? Okay, a uh, 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 week before, you know, this uh, lockdown had started in India, I think Australia had al already had some issues. So my daughter, my, when my wife called uh, her, so she said that, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I think that I may break down. I'm feeling very, you know, sitting in the hostel. I'm getting, because the online classes had already started. Right. So she told me to talk to her and try to console her. So that uh, Saturday, it was a Saturday and Saturday evening, you know, I uh, called her and then uh, she said that this is the issues and all then I just gave a positive message because I always look in, you know, in all calamities because of my life experience, I always look at opportunities because in all calamities, there is an opportunity. This is what I teach my team also in my business. So I just told her like, you know, Karina, her name is Karina. Karina, you are blessed to go through such a situations. Such situations comes once in hundred years. If you look at it, so many people have lived in this on this earth and died and gone. 
but they would not have experienced such a situation but here you are going to experience we are all lucky to experience such a situation when all these years we have seen a fast life but here we are going to see a different life we are going many many years behind this is what an experience is all about this is the time you enjoy it you know he just heard and that night you know we slept so next day morning uh, means indian time uh, you know i am getting a message that dada i am all through now now i am in a very positive frame of mind you know so it's all about you know i always tell everyone look you know calamities can happen in anybody's life but if you focus only on that calamity that calamity is going to pull you down but if you look for an opportunity through that you move ahead you are not stopping yourself this is what my message to all of all the people who will be listening to this you know interview learn that and you will be happy always i mean such a wonderful message uh, you know uh, in fact i i'm actually speechless for a moment in fact i had goosebumps the way you were narrating the story between you and your daughter uh, in fact uh, it is such a beautiful point to notice that yes calamities can happen in anyone's life but it's how how you deal with it and how you turn it into an opportunity no wonder you are uh, now the president for sales uh, at the uh, uh, at your workplace and yeah, you have the you know you you've shown and proved that you know you are an absolute leader whether be it at home taking care of your family or whether it's the business um back to one more thing um i've always noticed that whenever you post videos you do use a hashtag which says kuch pal ghar ke waste uh or ghar ke naam uh what is yeah. that all about <laughs> this is something beautiful which happened you know uh, a year back uh, sarah launched a campaign mm mm-hmm. you know uh, it was we thought that you know while deciding upon that uh, we had thought about uh, Uh, uh you know a lot of factors in family which is with the families are going through and we felt that you know quality time time is not being spent by family you know in their own home right. and something comes they just run out for a holiday you know even there their business continues so what we thought was you know we spend a lot of uh, time and you know a lot of dedication to build our homes but we spend less time there so we thought that you know we should tell the people that you know the home that you have built with a lot of care and a lot of you know a lot of time that you have given it is time that you know you spend quality time with your family there in your own homes that is where this concept came up kuch pal ghar ke naam mm-hmm. so you know now people say that you know uh, once this people are spending time and this campaign has become apt for the situation for today's so situation. it was like you know <laughs> yeah yeah so you know it is uh, like somebody was telling that you know that contagion film was there no mm-hmm. where you know something like corona virus it was predicted you know it was uh, the film was all about that so your ad also has become like that you know you <laughs> have predicted this <laughs> it was not predicted but we 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 thought that you know this is a genuine message that people should spend quality time at home and mm-hmm. uh, that is how uh, the new generation a beautiful generation can be created sara stands for that so lovely i also understand that you, yours is one company that has always um, you know uh, ensured that you know they give a, a good quality holiday for your uh, dealers and distributors you have always traveled and i know that you are an avid traveler as well this year um, thanks to corona there is no traveling what have you thought <laughs> of as a substitute plan see this whole year until the vaccination is found i don't think people will really travel no nope. so you know what we thought was you know to keep connection we are talking over phone or video conferencing so we are keeping in touch with everyone and you know we are also giving ideas to them how to you know go through the situations you know many of the some of the dealers had told us that you know i feel that you know once this lockdown is over i will be entering into the business as if i am going to start a new one Starting so people are confused yeah and so many people you know they would have lost their money how to run their business a lot of chaos you know so what uh, we are trying to do is we are giving our inputs you know we are talking to them keeping them calm you know one of the dealer was telling me abi 
I'm just sitting at home. I don't know what to do because if you have to play chess, you need an opponent. Today I have no opponent. <laughs> so you know, so this is the situation. People are troubled, and mm-hmm. this is the time a lot of prayer is needed. That is my message. Is you know always. I always give them positive side of that, and I ask them to trust in God. And uh, you know, God can give you ideas. When I talk about you know uh, uh, opportunities. who can open your eyes towards your opportunities that is god so that is what we communicate through our messages lovely uh, in fact when you were talking you did also mention that um, this this new outlook has been a, has been uh, born because of the you know way that you have been uh, of the of the things that has happened in your life what made you so strong abby <laughs> uh i have gone through a lot of uh, a very big problem in my life in the year 2006 i was diagnosed with uh, throat cancer a third stage cancer you know uh, it was a very very struggling situation in my life because 30 days of continuous uh, uh, what do you say with the um, radiation and uh, you know every week chemo uh there was a stage after 2 weeks you know i could not even drink a drop of water because my entire throat inside was swollen it was burned up you know the fresh meat being burned you know <laughs> i have gone through a lot of struggle but all this time you know i was i feel that i was floating uh after all these issues when i look back today do i was struggling my when i when my treatment started yeah, so you know uh, i was floating in the hands of god because uh, my weight was 75 kg and i had lost weight and you know i became like a self skeleton uh, with 60 kg i'm 6 feet tall so you know 6 feet tall it, it will become a health and light look and uh, it was very hard for me even after the treatment for one month i could not eat or drink anything but all this time i felt that you know my god was there taking care of me for a greater glory how beautiful you no know, uh, uh, when uh, i uh, first day of uh, my uh, radiation you know the doctor measures like you know from here till here mm-hmm. it has to be burned <laughs> burnt in the sense radiation it didn't got burnt, burnt only right so uh, i told the doctor uh, doctor i am a singer not a big singer i sing in churches and in other the thing will i be able to sing after this treatment so do you know what he did he protected mm-hmm. this area the vocal cord area he just protected that and the rest of the area the radiation was given now before treatment i could not sing at a higher pitch higher note right but right now i can sing at a very much higher note and people say that you know you have a better voice now <laughs> praise the lord <laughs> there are <laughs> there are mysterious ways that god works you know and i have learned uh, i a lot i have got a lot of confidence and today nothing can trouble me so all those people you know who are going through trouble handle it with god and he is going to help you and my faith in jesus is so so strong today that nothing can detach me <laughs> what a strong message abi in fact um, you know the, the, considering the things that you have gone through in your life the events that you have gone through in life i think this situation that the world is going through is nothing in it when compared to you know a person's personal uh, loss uh i think you've gone through a lot and you've come out uh, strongly and you know your message to the world is so strong in fact um, there is a big lesson that we can learn from you as a person you uh, you as a family and you as a business person uh, thank you so much abi you've been a great guest on our show at uh, let's connect today uh if you don't mind could you sing us a song oh <laughs> let me my mouth has become dry now because you know <laughs> that radiation effect is still there my saliva does not uh, work properly ah i have to complement my saliva with what 
<laughs> you want me to take the guitar or i have not prepared love any to, song we love to have it who is like the lion in the land seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean flow to the lord of hosts praise adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise adonai all the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise thank you so praise much Evie. that was so beautiful <laughs> thank you so much thank you for having me here well, it's it's a it's an honor for M4 TV to have you here today. Uh, thank you for all the positivity, and I'm sure that our viewers would benefit from the message that you have shared with us. And uh, wishing you all the very best, and hoping that this time too shall pass very soon. We'll see you soon. Sure. Until then, goodbye. Bye bye. Take care. Take care.